Good afternoon, my friends. I'm Mike Johnson, and this is the Wednesday edition of Quick Tips at Five. I'm glad you're here. Let's get right to it. This week, we're talking about bringing the joy as the overall topic, and this afternoon, I want to talk about a very powerful people skill called positive projection. This is one of the many ways that you can bring the joy to the room or to a situation or whatever as you go through your day and you deal with people along the way. Positive projection is the idea that you project or you launch, or you radiate positivity and energy onto the situation or circumstances and people that you're involved with every day. Now, I know some of you are already thinking that what I'm talking about is being the big bubbly personality that oozes rainbows and lollipops, and that's exactly not what I'm talking about. I want to talk to you about three ways to project positivity into your day, into your relationships, into your work, into your friends, into everything that you do. So number one, honor people and their struggles. Be the one that works hard to understand what they're going through. It's not what you expected, is it? But it'll make a huge difference in your relationships and how you, how you deal and relate with people. Be the one that listens to help. Empathy is, is one of the greatest assets that we can possess as a human being. Honor people. And don't try to sweet talk them. Be the one that genuinely cares. Honor people and their struggles. Number two. Be enthusiastic in finding out more about other people. Sometimes we get so wound up in trying to tell everybody else about ourselves that we end up sounding like these selfish little brats. What we do or what we can do is ask others about them and do it genuinely. I'm not talking about going through a rote list of questions. I'm talking about genuinely finding out what makes another person tick. And what I've found is when I do this, I find out more about myself. And to them, I become the most interesting person in their world. Be fascinated with other people. Find out what their interests are. Find out about their dreams, their fears, their relationships, their work, what they're excited about. This is a real art. And it really brings our humanity back into the discussions and relationships in our life. You know, we're on this journey together. We should know more about each other. And we need to ask questions to find out. Number three, when you meet others, even when you're just passing someone in the hall or in the aisle or in the store as you're pushing your wobbly thumpity thump cart through Walmart, you should have a motto or a line, a, a phrase that you use in your own mind as you approach someone else. Something that you say that will Project the right expression and body language when you approach another person. Now, when I'm approaching someone I'm going to have a conversation with in my mind, or even if I'm not going to have a conversation with them, I think this anyway. In my own mind, I say to myself, I don't say this out loud, I am bringing you my peace and happiness. Or, I am bringing you my peace and my joy. And when I say that in my mind, it comes out in my expression. Now, some of you are laughing your butts off right now, and you're thinking that this is silly. 
But I want you to think about your expression and what your expression, your body language tells someone when you approach them and you're thinking, well, hey, you're weird. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Well, this, this dude is ugly. What's wrong with him? All of those project in your expression, in your body language. Why not make it a habit to decide what you're going to think before you approach someone? I am bringing you my peace and happiness. Try it. Just try it. Try it for a day. Try it for a week. And you'll see that it'll make a huge difference in how you are acknowledged by other people. Now that's it for today. I hope that you have a fantastic evening, and if this has been helpful, I hope that you will share it with your friends. I'll be back in the morning with a message about another message about bringing the joy called What to Do When You Feel Horrible, because we can still bring the joy then. Bring it everywhere you go. I love y'all. Mike out.